I'll go to you first, Krayos. Is it thoroughly deserved? By me. Because I know him. <laughs> he's happy. <laughs> well, not not really. <laughs> he's happy. Well, in, in his sense, he's happy. <laughs> it would have been... Listen, what Liverpool had to have... I, well, personally, thought they had to have after last week's performance at Old Trafford was a, a, was a response in terms of result and performance, and they got that. Because they were poor by their standards last week and got a point. But... Going behind early, they were excellent in this game. OK, they had a couple of scares during the game, but they dominated, dominated the game. And for the second time in a row this season, Spurs have gone away to the two big boys in the league and been totally dominated. At Man City, they got a point, but today they got their just rewards, which was... which they, I mean, Tottenham fan might say, well, you know, we might have got... No, it would have been a travesty had Tottenham taken in from this game. The fact that Gazaniga was arguably man of the match says it all, really. Yeah, yeah, it tells you everything you need to know. You got... Listen, you've got to give, give them credit. They defended stoutly. It makes it a lot easier when you get a goal so quickly and it kind of gives you something to cling on to and run around for and defend for. But in terms of a game of football, these two teams are light years apart. I mean, Liverpool just moving the ball well, making runs, they're confident. Spurs just hanging on. And that's not what you expect. I mean, to think that, what, four months ago, this team was in the Champions League final. Mm. They are absolutely miles off the pace. And you kind of wonder how they're going to get back on pace because, again, as Craig said, another pace than at the top, one of the top teams, I, I don't know where they go from here. Quite the response for Liverpool, though, isn't it? After what happened last weekend? Yeah, and, and, and particularly what, after what happened in 45 seconds because yes. that's a big blow. You know, OK, and, you know, Kane does well because he stays on side and he's proper goal poacher because he's there to finish and it wasn't an easy finish. Now... Heads could easily go down, or not dropping heads, but then you could start being rash and mm -hmm. making bad decisions and you know, trying, to, trying too hard to get back into the game too soon and leaving yourself open, but they were composed, they were very professional about it, and I always felt, unlike last week, I thought Liverpool, I know they got the goal at the end, but I thought the goal was never coming Right at, at Old Trafford. Honestly, I thought it was never coming. Today, I always felt that goals were in them. I'm a, I'm a little surprised that, that you're kind of saying... Well, they came back from last week. I, I, I'm not surprised at all. Listen, last week wasn't great, but they still completely dominated the game. You know, so it's the difference today was they were, they were a little sharper in the final third. And they weren't and very good last week, Stevie. And they completely, they completely dominated possession of the game away at Old Trafford. They were, they were not oh, good. Right, they were not good in the final third. Well, that's quite a big part of the game, isn't it? Well, it is. But you're talking, oh, what a comeback from last week! As if, as if they'd got beat three or four and they'd been in a bad run. I mean, this isn't a surprise that they, they dominate Tottenham at home, is it? Am I, am I, am I on the wrong planet here? This is not a shock that Liverpool, in this game, dominated and won the game. No, but I think... Certainly not a shock no, to me. but I think people were wondering if, if one bad... If one... Well, how would you... All oh, right, let's, let's go... Let's, it let's, never let's even crossed my back. mind. Let's it never even let, crossed my mind. Let's peel this back. Last week, you said Liverpool were pretty abysmal by their standards. So They weren't good, yeah. Yeah? But they go to Old Trafford and get a 1-1 draw and that, they, were, they, were, they were poor. And they were poor and they were you're, poor and by the way, you're hold on, hold just, on a second. I'll, tell, a I'll repeat what I said. Uh, they were poor for the first time in a, and for the first time in probably two years, they were poor in a big game. Now they haven't won every big game, but they've played well in, in, in almost every single one except for that game. So why is that a shock after one poor performance in a so-called big game? that we're questioning whether this is a surprise. I suppose because... Hold, the hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Why, hold on. why is that a surprise? Who, who's, Liverpool batters tell, Tottenham today. Tell, tell me, tell me, who's used the word surprise? The way the question was given was, well, it's a good comeback. It's like, a good response, of course it is. Well, it, it sounded... And a, you say it yes. Sounded a, it sounded a little as if there was a little surprise in it, or, or, or you were... <laughs> Are you a shock? No, I, you know, I think there are some people wondering whether one average, we'll call it average to keep you happy, one average performance. It wasn't it, average, it, it just was, it was a rotten game. <laughs> but they still dominated at Old Trafford of all places, but, but didn't win the game. So they're still undefeated. Well, I think some but, people, then, but then he's coming out as if, as if there's like, oh, well done. I lad. think the question was, comeback. I think the question was, was Liverpool going to have a couple of bad performances in, in the league in a row? 
I don't think anybody was worried or, or surprised how well they played today. The only surprising thing is how angry you're getting. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.